to that, we will cross back to the newsroom in about half an hour. Now, from celebrities to socialites, our next guest makes a killing playing Cupid for the rich and powerful. Millionaire matchmaker and dating guru Trudy Gilbert joins us now. Trudy, good morning. Good morning, Sonia. You say that your clients have to be a catch. What do you mean by that? Well, they have to be eligible. They have to be someone that my other members want to meet. I mean, for example, my, my, my agency is called Elite Introductions. It's not called Anyone Will Do Introductions. Right, okay. <laughs> so, first of all, they need to be um, professional. Uh -huh. They need to be either a business owner or a professional. They need to be um, healthy, fit, they don't smoke, um, educated, worldly, wanting to meet someone else who's fabulous. Is there a financial benchmark? Not really, but our members do tend to earn in excess of over 250000 a year. Um, there is a, a substantial fee to join, which basically is for our members' benefit for a screening factor to only get that level of clientele that mm -hmm. are highly compatible. So, I mean, some of the requests that you get are pretty outrageous, aren't they? Like, you did have someone, a, a, a woman asked for a Harrison Ford yes, lookalike? Yes, yes, I did. Um, she was quite unique and uh, <laughs> only wanted to date men that looked like Harrison Ford. So I clearly had to tell her that that may not be possible. Uh -huh. and, and I didn't even take her on in the end because with someone with such unrealistic expectations, it's just not going to work. It's quite specific, isn't it? Oh, look, I've had eye colour. I've had height restrictions. I've had you know, everything. But it all comes down to me also educating the client and telling them to really look at what's the most important criteria yeah. to focus on. Now, I know you can't tell us for confidentiality reasons, but you've hooked up some famous Australian actresses mm -hmm. with partners. They would be quite hard to please, I imagine. They would have a fairly you know, stringent mm. criteria. Not unlike my other clientele. When, when you're fabulous and you have a lot to offer, you're looking for somebody else who can, who can meet that level. So whether they're an actress, I mean, I've represented um, uh, models, TV presenters, fashion designers, Olympic athletes. I mean, the list goes on. So I wish you could tell us who. <laughs> so do I. But <laughs> Anyone from this network? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh. Oh. So it doesn't surprise you that, that these people can't find no, not at all. dates themselves? No, not at all. Because as, cause when you have a lot to offer, it's hard to meet someone else who's on that same page. So someone else who has a similar lifestyle, who travels constantly, who's able to enjoy life, who has, uh, has similar values, education level, all of that's quite difficult to suss out. Plus, on top of that, you've got the intention level of a person. Do they really want to have a relationship? Whereas when people come to see me, they're fully committed. They've paid a fee, they've taken the time, and they, this is a number one priority for them. They know them. what they want. Right. Now, did you struggle to find your, your own perfect match? Is that true? Not entirely. Um, I'd been living overseas for three years, and I came back to Sydney, and within six weeks, I'd met my husband. We met, engaged, and got married within 15 months. Wow. So it all happened pretty So quick. that wasn't a struggle at all? Uh, no. <laughs> you knew exactly what you wanted? We knew pretty much from about, well, he says the first time he met me. Mm -hmm. It took me a while to be convinced. <laughs> <laughs> then he wooed you. Now, we should get, give some advice for our viewers out there. You say to treat the first date like it's an interview. Yes. So what are your biggest tips for men and women when they're out there and they're, and they're dating. Okay, perfect. So biggest tip for both men and women is treat it like, an, like it's a job interview where it's a controlled release of information that paints you in a favourable light. You have to edit everything you think and say because this is your one chance to get date number two. So it can be one comment or one look that just is you know, rules out the second chance. Mm -hmm. So be very careful. Men, um, my tips would be to ask lots of questions, give good eye contact, make her feel special, make her feel you really want to get to know her, um, and be chivalrous, of course. You know, pour the wine. Give her a compliment midway through the date. That'll seem more genuine than if it's first off when you pick her up. That's my inside tip. And women, relax, have fun, don't probe, don't ask too many questions about past relationships. Just, just be light and fun. You are good. Mm. I reckon you could hook up just about anybody. David? What? No, I'm fine. <laughs> totally happily married, Sonia. Don't need to be hooked up at all. No. Uh, no, that was really interesting. She's like a real-life Tinder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the first. <laughs> oh, now it's the rise of...